Joining us live is Jeff Birnbaum, Washington Times Digital Managing Editor. Okay, explain the issue about the advertising and compare and contrast the, with the other issue with the former Vice President. Well, uh, there are, two, as you mentioned, there are two uh, uh, Democratic media firms that are um, uh, putting together a $24 million ad campaign in favor of health reform. Um, um, both of them have uh, close ties to President Obama. Uh, one of them, in fact, uh, AKPD, uh, is, uh, was founded by David Axelrod, who is in the White House now. Uh, and Axelrod is being paid uh, in several installments. Uh, he's two, out. He's but he's, out. But, but he got bought out, and they're paying installments. In stock. He, his stock was bought out. He was a founder of the firm. Uh, $2 million. He's getting $350,000 on December 31st of this year. He uh, and and this is all okay with the ethics laws. That $24 million, by the way, is not, doesn't, all that money doesn't go to these two firms. That's the amount of advertising that's being paid. So it's some fraction of that that's going to these advertising firms as, as a fee. Hi, wait, the where question is that is, $24 million coming from? Uh, it's coming from the American Medical Association, from uh, Pharma, the so drug these companies. So are lobbyists. Uh, right, and, and uh, labor but, union, so SEIU. Well, well, that may be a more interesting issue, is that the, all these lobbyists are helping the government uh, do the PR campaign for this. Right. And so the, even, that might be the more interesting issue, but go ahead. Well, the, the, uh, and critics look at this and say, is this too cozy? Is Axelrod benefiting somehow uh, because allies of the president are uh, paying his old firm and he's being paid in installments? Uh, ethics experts say that this is okay, this is, this is blessed uh, by them. Um, that uh, Axelrod is being paid uh, for for uh, a transaction, and that the fees being paid off of this advertising is a separate issue. That's right. that's what they contend. Halliburton. 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 Uh, people, you might remember uh, that uh, Vice President Cheney was the former CEO of Halliburton, a big construction uh, uh, defense contracting sort of firm. And after uh, uh, the uh, attack of 9/11, Halliburton got a huge uh, no bid contract. It was essentially on retainer uh, to build things for the federal government in Iraq. Um, uh, just like uh, David Axelrod, it's a very similar number. It's $2 million that Cheney was going to get in payouts that were owed to him uh, because of his separation from the, the firm. Uh, and, and, and just like Axelrod, Cheney said that there was no connection between any of the federal money that was going to Halliburton for construction in Iraq and the pay, payments, mostly deferred compensation compensation that was due him from Halliburton. So, so while it looks very cozy and people in America might not like it, there's no ethics problem. There's, there's no ethics problem. Right. It's just a... I, I, thought, I, do, I wish we had more time. The whole idea of all these uh, lobbyists paying this money, this $24 million, I actually think that's the, the more interesting to it, but we got plenty of time. We're here every night. Yeah. Anyway, so we'll talk about that sometime. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Up next, the government is growing...